To the side of the angle button we have skew. We press skew. So far everything we've measured has been square and parallel to the movement of the axis of the machine. If you had a situation where the component was not square to the machine we can enter skew. The computer will then calculate it as if it were moving in a parallel motion. We enter the first point and the second point. By zeroing X and Y, as I wind along, you will see now both axes count. And if I have done this correctly, by going back to the line on the Y scale, you will see I have now gone back to within three microns. It's a very useful way of overcoming the problem of alignment but it goes further than that. There are occasions when components are drawn from an angled face so you could use the angled face in the skew mode as your datum and all features then will be relevant to that.